It's Entertainment Schmidt. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motors. Yeah, a little boozy. I only bring it up because that would be Courtney's rapper name. Uh, he got sick uh, on you know stage. You do be my rapper name? What? Van Pooling. <laughs> 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 or you could say it, Van Pooling. Either way. It's not very street. street. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little sophisticated. Van Pooling kills. Okay, how about that? <laughs> All right. No. Lil Boozy got sick during a show in New York. He was missing his diabetes medication. Maybe don't give yourself the name <laughs> Lil Boozy. Right. Not living the healthiest lifestyle. Alcohol through, through and your... diabetes don't, they don't go well. You ask Wilford Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. Now on to 19 Kids and Counting. People are saying it's just a matter of time before TLC completely cancels this show. And it could be because they want to distance themselves from the scandal, but it could also be because uh, there are no more advertisers. Here's who left yesterday. CVS, Party City. Didn't want to be involved with this party anymore. Ace Hardware, Jimmy Dean, H&R Block, Crayola, Pure Leaf Ice Tea, David's Bridal, Ricola, Ricola, Keurig, ConAgra Foods, and Bear. You know when Jimmy Dean pulls yes, advertising. Yes, I am yeah. with you when that sun <laughs> leaves. <laughs> does not make you breakfast anymore. Ah. Oh, it's done. It's over. And what about, isn't there some spinoff show that was supposed to happen? I think one of their kids. One, yeah. one of their kids and their yeah. husband. They also, oh, no, wait a minute. Is it kids? Yeah, yeah they're considering kids. Mm-hmm. Um, Jill and Jessa and their families. TLC was considering a spinoff. I don't know if they'll still do that. But I think they're definitely done with the parents who knew about this whole um, sex scandal with their son, Josh, and tried to cover it right. up, kept it hidden for so long. And especially if it allegedly involves some of their daughters, a lot of people have a problem with that. Apparently, there is another family that has a show that is similar. They also have 19 kids. I think they're the Becks. I made Bates. The Bates. They have a Bates. show on Up TV, and they could... I don't know. I think Why TLC do it? just needs a breather. Yeah. yeah, really. Get back to teaching people. You are the learning channel. Yes. Let, let's find a, a family has like four children. <laughs> and that's it. That's, that's the end of the yeah. show. The, yeah, we got four children. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> that's a good name for it. <laughs> Tracy Morgan has settled his lawsuit with Walmart over the accident with one of their trucks last summer. He is still not back to normal. And a lot of people, a lot of his friends who have seen him wonder if he'll ever fully recover. But Tracy said, Walmart did right by me and my family, but he won't disclose how much uh, money Walmart gave him. I believe the statement should be, my lawyers did right by me and made Walmart do right by me. Yeah. Because that was a battle. Yeah, it was not good. Not, not a good battle. Uh, also not good, but I guess in the whole scheme of things, I mean, when you look at Tracy Morgan, the story's eh. Simon Cowell talking about his son, who's now 15 months old, and he said, oh, Eric makes him laugh. They like the same things. They watch cartoons together. But Simon tells Hello Magazine he has still never changed a diaper. You used to change my diapers. <laughs> <laughs> never changed a diaper. I don't know why it bugs me so much, but it does. And he and the fact that he's proud of it. Yeah. I've still never changed a diaper. And he and his girlfriend, Lauren, apparently want more kids. They're going to try for a baby girl. And Simon said, I feel sorry for her when she's older because she won't be able to leave the house. Simon's going to be so oh, yeah. protective, yeah. apparently. Mm-hmm. But hopefully when you have that girl... You, you know, wish for great things for her, and hopefully you wish that she marries a man who will change some diapers when she has children. Come on! 2015, Simon. You know, Simon, you're going to look back in 20 years, and no, no, I think you're going to be all right with that. (laughs) I know. He doesn't care. Uh, David Letterman, his final show, 13.76 million viewers. It did better than every season finale on TV last week. I would hope. But because it's not considered prime time, you know, Mm -hmm. it's after the news, um, it's not listed. It would come in at number two as far as the ratings go because Dancing with the Stars performance show had a little over 14 million. But it did better than the voice finale, Dancing with the Stars, Survivor, and, uh, and all the other shows. Rolling Stone named their top late night host of all time, and David Letterman came in second. Conan came in third, actually. And number one on the list, of course, Johnny Carson. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you meant Corcoran. (laughs) (laughs) He was right up there.
I did not know that. <laughs> That's the only reason I did this story. I know. Jay Leno, by the way, did not make the list. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Jay Leno did not make the list. You are correct, sir. Thank you. Uprocks.com has a list of the t- the top one hit wonders of the '90s and alternative I won't know rock. Any of- oh, alternative yeah, rock. Yeah, I right. think you're gonna like I'm these. I'm there. Okay, number three, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Oh yeah. <laughs> Number two on the list comes from The Breeders. Oh, yes. I love this song. (laughs) (laughs) Hey now, now, hey now, now, hey now. And number one on the list, the number one alternative one-hit wonder of the 90s. Ugly Kid Joe? No. (laughs) Shoot, no. But it involved a B-girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom no. fell out no. with number one. Never like Blind this melon. Song. Don't no. like it. Sorry. That poor B girl. I know. She got her fame. <laughs> she was around. How is she now? Maybe we'll give you that update at 840. You're going to look into it? Yeah. All right. I'll do some research I'll for you. I'll bet that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> More at 840 and online at y98.com.